Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Google Keep, which is Google's take on note management slash task management, to-do list management, all that kind of stuff. And so Google Keep comes with a bunch of cool features. You can have to-do lists, you can have regular notes, you can do actual vocal recordings. And here is an example of that right now. This is a test using Google Keep. You can do picture notes, and you can also color code the notes with different colors. And on the app versions, the whole note actually gets color coded. But on the desktop version, there's only one line. You can see that in a minute when we'll look at it. But I think this is a really nice start in terms of an app for note taking. It's nothing really close to Evernote. Evernote's been around a lot longer and it's a little bit more robust and can do a couple more different things. But I think this is a solid start for Google Keep. And with a couple updates along the way, a couple new features maybe every now and then, this will become a really powerful note taking app. After you actually create your notes, you can also rearrange them by holding down on them and then dragging. It's kind of hard to see where you're going to place them because the only indicator is a very small, thin blue line on the left side of the note that it's going to go in front of. I think they could do a little bit better job of this, maybe moving the notes around and kind of like on a phone, like when you move apps around, the apps will kind of correspond and move along according to where you're moving the app. Uh, it's just kind of hard and difficult to see where you're actually going to be moving the note. But there is the ability to move the notes, prioritize them, and put them closer to the top or closer to the bottom. And so as you can see, I've been making notes on the Galaxy S3 here. And the Google Keep does sync across all your devices. And so we're going to switch over to the Nexus 7. And when I open the app on the Nexus 7, you can see like one frame of my old notes that I used to have on there. And now they're replaced and synced with the new notes that I just made. And so you can also change the way your notes actually show up, whether you want them to show up as a list or whether you should want them to show up in a tile format. And so now let's switch over to the desktop and check it out on the desktop. And so it's kind of the same exact setup as you have on the phone and the tablet. The only really big difference that I can see is that your notes aren't completely color coded like they are within the app. You only have one little bar on top which color codes them. And I think that that's, a, that's better for the desktop because you don't want to have huge squares of colors all over your desktop screen. I think the cool, full color coding on, works much better on the apps. And so you can do pretty much everything you can do uh, on the desktop version except you cannot make vo vocal notes. Um, I'm sure this will be updated sometime in the future because most people have webcams with mics built in or laptops with mics built in. And so maybe this will be implemented in a further update, but the desktop version is pretty much the same thing as the app versions. So I'm definitely going to be using Google Keep more in the future. I never really was a big Evernote person. I really couldn't get into it. But now that Google has released their own uh, note-taking app, I'll probably try to get more into the whole note-taking thing and seeing how it works better throughout the whole Google ecosystem. And so overall, I think it's a really great app. I think you should try it out. It's free for any Android device that's running Ice Cream Sandwich or higher. And so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, help support the channel. Let me know if you're going to download Google Keep, try it out. What do you think of it? Do you think it's better than Evernote? What kind of things would you like to see within the app? Leave all that stuff down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check me out on all my social links and all my other channels are all in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.